For this assignment, what I want you to do is go out and get some uh, bond information. We're going to use the same companies we did in the earlier module when we were looking at common stock. We're going to go look at bonds for these companies. I want, to, I want you to select a bond there. Each of these companies typically has one issue of common stock, but they may have dozens of issues of bonds. In fact, Caterpillar had like 13 pages of bonds. Go find something that is roughly 10 years maturity. You can go a little way either direction because not all companies have easy to find or, or exactly 10 year maturity. I want the bond to be callable, I'm sorry, callable, and if the bond doesn't have, if it isn't callable, pick a different bond. We want it to have a coupon and a maturity date and a Moody's rating, a price, and a yield. Now I'm going to, I don't want any of these coming in here that have blanks. All right, you'll have plenty to choose from. All right, I'm going to start out, you're going to go get the information from the FINRA uh, bond uh, information system. There is a link provided at the top of the page, but it's also in uh, SetLearn. When you click on the, the system, it'll take you to a search page. Click on the button that says search and then type in some or all of the name. If you misspell the name, it will not find it for you. This thing's kind of touchy. I'm going to go look for Target. Type in Target, and then this is what comes up. And notice that there is only one page showing of the targets. Sort it by clicking on the maturity, and it'll go from closest maturity to most distant. Now Target doesn't have that many different uh, issues out there which is kind of surprising but it is what it is. Here's a uh, Target Corporation bond that matures in this one it matures in February of 2030 so that's almost exactly that's almost exactly 10 years so let's gather the data. The information I want, that's the symbol, and don't paste, paste special, paste the value in there. All right, I'll flip back and get the coupon. All right, note it is callable. It's a corporate bond. The coupon is 2.35. You don't need to add the percent sign. It matures to 15, 20, 30. The Moody's rating is A2. The price is 102.046. That means it's selling for 102.0. 0.46% of its price, or it's selling at a premium. Almost all the bonds we're going to look at are going to be premium bonds because of the, the, the interest rate dynamics. Interest rates have dropped a lot since these were issued, which causes the price of the bonds to go up. And the current, the, the yield to maturity as of the last sale, 2.116. Okay. Now we're going to get a couple of more pieces of information and to get the other information you actually have to open up this particular bond. So click on the symbol and it'll open up another page. There we go. And this gives you a lot more detail. The two items I want are the offering date and we can see from this particular instance Trying to make this smaller so it'll fit on the page. The offering date right under issue elements is 1-21-2020, which means they just did issue this bond. Some of the other bonds that you might find might have been issued last year or 10 years ago or 20 years ago. 
but we're looking for something that still has about 10 years to go. And we want the yield at offering, which is towards the bottom of the page under bond elements, yield at offering. And when this bond was first offered, it was offered at 2.37%. All right, leave the percent signs off. So since it was issued last week, note that the, uh, the, the yield hasn't changed much. Uh, the coupon rate is pretty close to the yield to maturity. If you space over on the page to the right, I, I already pulled the yield, uh, the 10 year treasury yield for all these bonds, and it's going to automatically ca calculate the default risk yield. And that's the difference between a 10 year treasury and a 10 year corporate bond. That's about 66 basis points, or 0.66%, is the additional interest rate yield on this bond for the risk that the bond will default. All right, it's a highly rated bond. The A2 tells us that it's a high rated bond, and the, that generally means that Target is a very good, uh, good investment risk with respect to default. Now remember there's a lot of other things that can go wrong with a bond. For instance, if interest rates shoot up, the price of this bond will shoot down. Uh, and let's say that market interest rates for a bond of this type jumped up to 5%. Well, you got a bond paying 2.35% per year coupon rate. The Nobody's going to want to buy it from you, so the price would go down. If you hold it to maturity over the next 10 years, you will earn the yield to maturity uh, from the uh, from the bond. Now, the yield to maturity as of today is two point one one six, and that's because the price of the bond has gone from uh, the the price at issue, which we can see in here was ninety nine eighty one. That was the price at offering. It sold for roughly par, and the yield to maturity was 2.37 when it was issued. The price has gone up since then, and that we're not talking about a year. We're talking about a month. So interest rates change, and the price of the bonds change, and so price went up on this bond uh, from 99 to 102, the price went up, the yield to maturity went down from 2.35 to 2.116. Anyway, go find out the other information on these other bonds. And then once you put together the spreadsheet, follow the rest of the instructions uploaded, and then in the right submission box, tell me what you have learned about the relative default risk for these seven companies.